Recently, the Supreme Court decided uh, not to hear a case about a lower court decision that said that gay marriage would be allowed in five new states. It would also affect six other states. And now, overall, 30 states in the District of Columbia allow for gay marriage because of the inaction of the Supreme Court, the fact that they did not take that case. So now, some people are very upset about this, uh, but others in the Republican Party and their propaganda machine are not so upset. First, uh, let's go to the people who are upset. Let's go to Mike Huckabee. I'm utterly exasperated with. Republicans and the so-called leadership of the Republicans who have abdicated on this uh, issue when if they continue this direction, right. uh, they guarantee they're going to lose every election in the future. Guarantee it. And I don't understand why they want to lose, because uh, a lot of Republicans, particularly in the establishment and those who live on the either left coast or those who live up in the bubbles of New York and Washington are convinced that if, if we don't capitulate on the same-sex marriage issue, and if we don't raise the white flag of surrender and just accept the inevitable, then we're going to be losers. I tell you, Tim, it is the absolute opposite of that. And if the Republicans want to lose guys like me and a whole bunch of mm -hmm. uh, still God-fearing, Bible-believing mm -hmm. people, go ahead and, and just... Uh, Abdicate on this issue, and, and while you're at it, go ahead and say abortion doesn't matter either. Right. Because at that point, you lose me. I'm gone. Right. I'll become an independent. I'll start finding people that have guts to stand. I'm tired of this. Uh-oh. Here we go. This could be a big splinter in the Republican Party. We'll have to see how it develops. He's really mad because other Republicans have decided we're never going to win on this issue in the polls. We've now pissed off yet another demographic who's never going to vote for us. And by the way, a lot of our donors are gay or have family members who are gay, so it's also drying up our money. So they don't like this kind of talk from Mike Huckabee, but apparently he doesn't give a damn, because he, he's going to go on Fox News over the weekend and double down. A single robed judge decided that his opinion mattered more than the collective votes of the people themselves. The Supreme Court refused to hear these cases. Several governors and other elected officials reacted by saying, well, that's it. That's the final word. Horse apples. The Supreme Court is not the supreme being. But the bigger issue is the betrayal of our Constitution and the surrender to a small group of unelected black robe jurists who can't make law nor enforce it. I'm utterly disgusted with fellow Republicans who want to walk away from the issue of judicial supremacy just because it's politically volatile. Here's my advice. Grow a spine. Show a modicum of knowledge about the way we govern ourselves and lead, follow, or get the heck out of the way. Oh, I see the Lord. Yes, we still hate the gays. We still hate them. <laughs> All right, good for you. Um, <laughs> utterly disgusted with fellow Republicans. I mean, how could you tolerate gays? Disgusting, right? Um, but. Everybody realized what the best part of that was. I mean, first of all, of course, he was so angry that he even said, heck, get the heck out of the way. Wow. Lighting the place on fire. But of course, the best was horse apples. <laughs> oh, that's good. We're going to use that from now on. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, he realizes he's losing the Republican Party. That's why he's that mad. And you get a sense of uh, where the Republican Party is if you turn on Fox News. Now, that show is on Fox News. But when you uh, go to their main Sunday talk show, led by Chris Wallace, you found something else entirely. You found Chris Wallace and Ted Olson. Ted Olson's a lifelong Republican, diehard Republican, very conservative, but he, he believes in gay rights. Against Tony Perkins, who is the head of the Family Research Council, and all of a sudden it was two to one against the guy who's at the Family Research Council. Interesting turn of events on Fox News. Let's watch. Well, first off, I say marriage is not to affirm adults, it's for the protection of children. And if love is the only factor, where do you draw the boundaries? Well, what the Supreme Court said in the cases that it decided last year involving the defense of marriage case, striking that down, is that children do matter. Well, but we know from the social science that children do best with a mom and a dad. That's why our policies in this country have preferred marriage and given benefits to it. But let me, if love is the factor, what boundaries are there? 
the, fact. the court but, but heard evidence. You, what are the boundaries, though? If, if it's just love, what are the boundaries? Where can we go with marriage? If we, well, what are you suggesting? That they're going to be polygamy? That, if, that, if that we people remove, will be marrying if their, we, their if pets? We, if we remo- no, I didn't say that. If we remove the natural established boundaries for marriage, the union of a man and a woman, we have removed, we've removed those boundaries, those guardrails. But, Oh, interesting, man. All of a sudden, now Chris Wallace uh, doing the same talking points, making the same uh, you know overall uh, debating points that that we've been saying for a long, long time. All of a sudden, uh, Fox News saying this Tony Perkins guy. I don't know, man. He's that guy we invited on to be like, yeah, against gay rights, but let's gang up on him. And it ain't over yet. Watch. You and your wife live happily in this house. There's a, there's a same-sex couple living here. What's the damage to you? Well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the the wedding vendors that have been put out of business. Let's talk I'm not, about. I'm, ta- I'm not talking about that. It's no, a different no, issue. No, it's, no, it's a different, different issue. It, it affects. I, it's a different issue. How? I'm asking you, what's the impact on you well, and your well, family well, to have these people living well, here? Let's school? talk about it. Let's talk about okay. my children. All of a sudden, in school, are taught values and morals that contradict what I teach as a parent at home. Get to that in a second. But your your argument as to whether somehow this damages the Perkins to have another couple next door. Well, everyone who's ever talked about this says that there's no heterosexual couple that is going to decide to get divorced or is not to get married or not to raise children just because another couple next to them uh, is treated equally and with respect and decency. Damn, they treated Tony Perkins like a liberal there. <laughs> Gang up on him. Say, what's wrong with you, man? They're just living down the street. What do you think, you're going to get the gay from them? Only what we've been saying for the last 10, 15, 20 years, right? So all of a sudden, uh, now that it is politically damaging to the Republican Party, Fox News, totally liberal on gay issues. Of course gays should be allowed to get married. Who said otherwise? Who said that? I believe you guys said that.